on, let's take a look at this last question. So find the equation of the rational function graph below. All right, so let's just look at some of the traits that we see. The first thing I notice is that I've got a horizontal asymptote. So I'm going to take note of that, that I have an HA at y equals 3. All right, that would mean I, I need some kind of multiplier of 3 in my, in my numerator, most likely. But we'll, we'll take a look. All right, I also see that I have two vertical asymptotes. All right, it looks like I've got one at negative 1. And that looks like x equaling 3. So let me go ahead and write those out. So I have a vertical asymptote at x equaling negative 1. And I also have another vertical asymptote at x equaling 3. Um, other things I notice, I have two x-intercepts. I see one at 0, 0, and then it looks like at 4, 0. So let me write that down. And with that, that's that's pretty good amount of information to start to get the function. So let's let's place this together. I will leave my multiplier out here, but let's figure out where these factors go. Now with the vertical asymptotes of negative 1 and 3, those are going to show up in the denominator. So I'm going to have x plus 1 times x minus 3. With my x-intercepts at 0, 0, and 4, 0, those are going to show up in my numerator, x and x minus 4 respectively. I don't see any holes on this graph, which is fine. The only thing I haven't taken into account as of right now is the horizontal asymptote of y equaling 3. And like I said, I need that multiplier then out here to be 3. So let's go ahead and swap that in. So we have 3x, x minus 4 over x plus 1 times x minus 3. And at this point, it looks like the answers here have all been multiplied out. They're not in factored form, which is fine. I'm just going to finish this out. So this is going to be 3x squared what, minus 12x. And my denominator, if I FOIL x squared, all right, minus 3x plus x is minus 2x minus 3. And let's see what we're matching up with. So not that one, not that one. Here it is. I just felt like starting from the bottom, working myself up. And because, actually, before we get out of here, because of this y equaling 3, just when I looked and I glanced, I was pretty sure it was either going to be b or d because of that lead coefficient of 3. And it wound up being b, which is fine. All right. Thanks so much, everyone. Good luck on your exam.